All right. Hello, everybody. I am not here today, but I am here in YouTube. And so I will teach you about Minim. We learned a little bit about Minim in previous lessons. We learned about how you can go to the sketch menu and import library and go to the add library menu and search for Minim and click and install the Minim library. And once you do that, you can then find Minim in your uh, list here of imported libraries. You click on that, it adds in these import statements. There's a few other things to know. So we made a Minim variable. It's a Minim variable that we called Minim, which is not a great practice, but it syncs with the documentation if you ever read it, so that helps. Uh, and then for each different sound effect you're going to load in, you make a variable that's of type audio player, and then you give it a name. Try to give it a logical name. So here's my song. Here's the sound of a coin from Mario Brothers. Here's the sound of bumping into a block from, actually, I believe, Super Mario Brothers, the original Nintendo game. Uh, it's like number one, I suppose. And this is the game over sound. And so that's sort of our first setup. Here's the next step. You have to do this to turn everything on, and it has to happen first before you do the loading of the individual music files. So this happens to activate Minim. Uh, specifically, this variable uh, it then is able to uh, be used for all the different tools that are contained inside of it. Honestly, our main tool we want to use is load file. That's going to load a file into a audio player variable. So I have four different files to load, and it's really important you put them in the right place. So I'm going to press uh, Command K, or if you're on a Windows machine, uh, Control K to open up the sketch folder. And you'll notice I have these WAV files and MP3 files. Those are all legit, and I'm going to have those on my website so you can download those if you can't find other sounds, so you can at least practice with the programming. So I got all these different things. Uh, you might not see the extension because of the default way computers are set up at school, uh, but rest assured they are there. <laughs> and uh, when you download your own unique music files, notice when you're saving them what the extension is, and then make sure you type it in because it won't work otherwise. So maybe I'll just how do you, how do you split screen on a <laughs> on a Mac? Something like this and and this. So what I'll do is I'll just make sure I have all my files, so song is called song dot, no, no, it's called techno dot mp3. Uh, my coin is called coin dot wave. And my bump is bump dot wave. And my game over is, you guessed it, game over dot wave. And I downloaded these from a uh, website that I think is blocked at our school, but you know, you can find all sorts of great uh, music resources all over the internet. Just be careful about you know, using copyright free material for anything that you're going to put into the public domain, whether it's for um, profit or not. So these are uh, my audio files and they're ready to go, but they don't actually play. They don't know music will play as a result of them. Uh, we just loaded them and they're ready to go. We need to actually play them. So let's go and figure out that stuff. So there's our draw function. A, a good old mode framework. What we can do is go and find out, uh, this is kind of leftover from before, how this works. We can say song.play and it will just begin playing when the intro screen uh, function runs, so at the beginning of the project. And we'll just hear that song play, it'll be great. Uh, but when we switch to the next mode, we will want to stop it. And I'm just going to have silence, but I'll leave that as an exercise for you to fill that silence with your own mp3 that you're going to download and play. Um, say for example, you might say, they don't have a song 2 ready to play, and you would you know, have that uh, bit of a code. I don't have a song 2, but you, know, you might have a song 2. You will have a song 2, I should say, and then you just get it started playing. The question is, how do you get this one to pause and this one to start? Um, so the answer is, basically, the starting is easy. It'll just start automatically when you start the game uh, function. Uh, but this one doesn't automatically stop. So the original song from the intro screen, we need to stop it. 
So the answer to do that is right in here. Um, so we want to make the song pause. So this is the mouse release function, and this is when we click in the intro screen to set it to the next mode. So we get the game started. This is intro screen, right? Mode is zero. We want to switch to mode one, start the game. So when we do that, we'll pause. We also need to rewind the song. And the reason is because it doesn't automatically rewind. When we pause it, if we come back to the intro screen, it would start playing again, but from the original place. And that's just not what we want to have happen. Uh, well, maybe it is what you want to have happen, but for the project criteria, it's, it's, it's not what you should have happen for your project. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's uh, basically making it uh, stop and rewind so that we could start again. Uh, same thing would be true for uh, the game over mode. Uh, I think I'll put um, I think I'll put that in the game over here. I want to play the game over sound, so game over dot play. But of course, we should pause game over song when we go from the game over mode back to intro. So I bet you can figure it out. We just do the same kind of thing here, but when we're switching from game over to intro. And that code is a little bit further down. That is here, this is game over. So when we click in game over mode, it sets mode to zero. We'll also set the game over sound to pause. And we'll also rewind it so it can start over again. Rewind. Making sense so far? I hope it is. Um, last but not least, we have these other sound effects for, um, we have the coin sound effect for when we hit the target. I have the bump sound effect for when I miss the target. And so I want to make those play in, in a particular situation. Uh, and that's handled in our also in our mouse release function. Check it out. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't want this. Hold on. <laughs> Just delete that. Um, so that is in mouse release. This is when we're handling clicks in the game. So here's mouse released. This is mode one. That's the game mode. And so what we can do is, like I said, thwack and, and sad in, in previous uh, demonstrations. Uh, but now it's going to be coin. And the problem is here, basically, this is the code where you hit the target, right? Then we, got, we gained a point. This is the code where we miss the target, so we lose life. So you can just play your sound effects. In my case, it's actually coin. And we have to do a rewind first, because if we just play, it will get to the end. And when we do it again, when we click it again and get another point, it will still be at the end. So play will not actually make more noise, because the file has gotten to the end. So we, every time we play it, we first have to rewind it back to the beginning, and then play. Same thing with the bump. And this is just true about sound effects. It's a little bit different. They rewind and they play. They will. These are probably very short sounds, so you don't have to spend too much time uh, you know, messing around uh, with pauses or that kind of stuff. You probably will uh, it'll go so quickly you'll, you'll not need to manage that kind of stuff. So I don't know. Is this going to work? Let's find out. Let's run it. So it's loading the music. All right, and here comes our. Super Mario Brothers uh, rap song, which is pretty amazing. Uh, I wish I knew how to credit for this because it's, it's spectacular. And the reason why it started uh, is right in here. This is our intro screen function. I just said song.play. And when I go to click in here, oh man, this, this music is so good. I really like it. When we go to go to the game screen that's uh, in mouse released. Oh man, I gotta like this so loud. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna say song dot pause and rewind. When this is mode zero. Here we go. We gotta stop it. I click. Oh, and it stopped. I'm so I'm kind of happy. I, it, it was good at first. It was getting a little bit too much uh, later. I don't even know if you heard me because it was so loud. But anyways, there, there's the story. Um, so there you go. So now we're in game uh, mode. And so in mouse release, check it out. We got this, we're in this mode now, right? Mode is one. And so we're doing these checks. 
If I click in the circle, then we're going to increase points and play or rewind and play the coin. Otherwise, I'll play the bump. So let's see if that's working. So in here. Oh, so sharp. And over here, bump. All right. And if we put it many times, yeah, it works pretty good. And over here, now I'm going to die. So remember, when I die, uh, I'm going to intentionally do that. Uh, as soon as the game over function begins, we're going to start playing uh, that music. And then when I click again, so in mouse released, when I click inside the screen, then mode is two, it'll you know, pause that song and rewind it, and we expect the Mario Brothers rap to start over from the beginning. So let's see if that's true. Oh, game over. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the beginning now, click. Hey! Woo woo! And this, this is just uh, beautiful music. So I'm, I'm going to put these available. Uh, they're available on uh, online already, but maybe blocked at the school. So I'll put those pieces of music on the on my course website, and you can get those. And you can try making some minimum stuff work. Uh, feel free, of course, to use your own. And you will have to find at least one more piece of music to be playing during your game. So there's one last thing for you to do. All right? Hey, thanks, everybody. I'm going to go back to resting. Bye.